Madam, how are you? How much is corn? One thousand. Is this one hot? It's not hot. Ooh. Hi guys. Good afternoon from Uganda. My name is Nalongo Letisha. So guys, uh, in today's video, I am taking you along with me. I'm going to the salon to make my hair. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the salon to make my hair. And um, I just wanted, I just felt like uh, taking you along with me to the salon. My salon is in the town center of where I stay. Yeah. It is in the town center so that's where I am going to be going now and I do my hair it has really stayed for so long the kind of hair I want to do is na kind of natural hair that can allow me put on my wigs because uh, I am a wig person yeah I love wigs and still i i really don't want them to be permanent on my head i just don't like doing wigs or plaiting them and put them on my on my hair i always want to be able to wash my hair whenever i want however i want i always just want to wash my hair anytime that i want so I am going to plait my hair. So guys, let me take you along. Yeah. I'm just taking you along with me. So stick around as I am going there. So guys, I here I am. In the saloon I am just I, could, I had just arrived in the saloon and I was opening trying to open my hair to um, to be plated and yeah, yeah that is my hair that is my natural super natural hair I trust me I love it it is so super nice I really enjoy it I just used to enjoy touching it but the problem is you know how african african afro hair is it was kind of hard for me to maintain uh combing it you know all the time like you're going somewhere you're in a rush you need to first take care of the heart for the hair you need to first dedicate something like 30 minutes for a hair okay no i am not that kind of a person so I decided to still have my natural hair but in a simple way whereby I can just wake up, grab my bag and poo, next thing I'm out of the of the house. So um here was I um trying to put my my, my hair properly, combing it and uh like preparing it for them to to be washing it. Yep. Here I am in the sink i don't know is it called a sink yeah i guess it is a sink for the hair and the lady was uh was uh, washing my hair actually she really washed it so super well whereby yeah i enjoyed each and every little touch by the way for those who might not know i am in a in kauku in a salon that okay it is my local salon found here in uh, kauku on Entebbe Road, because we have two kauku, there is kauku for for Gaba, and there is another kauku for for Entebbe Road. So this one is Entebbe Road, and yeah, that's how my that's how my salon looks like. The one that I had made my hair in, 
yeah so they had already finished to wash my hair now it was time to make my hair black <laughs> and to make it look like yeah i'm having natural hair natural black hair sweetheart it is not natural though it's not natural black i just had to put in some money in for it to look black so uh they they put black actually that 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 black dye it is called black shampoo yeah they just had it is kind of in a liquid form so they just had to pour it mix it with while when they are washing my hair and we left it for a little while for it to um for it to to to, to for my hair to really go black yeah here was i waiting for that hair yeah to go black because trust me it was brown okay it had the sunshine in it that's all i can say it was pro it, it was producing sunshine for the whole village so yeah i just wanted to <laughs> i just wanted to make it black to look normal ah, just like some other people that the, the way they are enjoying their natural black hair but mine was as black as as brown as coffee ah no i wasn't ready for a, a cup of coffee or anything so i just had to make it black and look beautiful yeah because i had to make it long look be because i my intention is to make it stay a little bit longer yeah so the lady was really touching my hair so slowly and so nice and uh, she was applying some oil for it to for my hair to go a little bit longer and yeah and be a little bit smooth yeah and actually i really loved their services yeah the services were so nice the ladies were so friendly we were talking chatting and having conversations yeah it was really so nice i did not have a board hmm? i wasn't bored all through the time that i was in the saloon it was really super nice your girl here enjoyed Ugambo. yeah i just said it <laughs> these days i enjoy Ugambo like as if i'm i'm a news hunker mm? okay ah Mposi, I'm dealing with YouTube. Okay. And YouTube has something to do with Lugambo. Yeah. I was doing Lugambo. Mm? I was Lugamboling, making Lugambo left, right side and center. These people, they were so lovely in the saloon. And I really enjoyed their company. They, was, uh, they were not rude. The touches were so good. I really loved the services. So for those who need them, they are located in Kauku. I did not get their number or anything. But anyway actually the hair it costed um okay the black shampoo that i used it was for each i used the two pieces and two pieces were for each piece was for 2500 that is something like 0 0.6 0 0.6 us dollar yeah so each 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 one is was it was like that so um together together the the whole money was around uh uh five thousand that is one point something us dollar yeah and uh plating my hair washing it and the rest it was costing uh fifteen thousand ugandan shillings mm, okay in short all of what i did it did not come up to um it did not come up to ten dollars i did not use really ten dollars up to the yeah it did not finish ten dollars because all together was twenty thousand ugandan shillings yeah all together was twenty thousand ugandan shillings so it did not i did not get done with even ten ten what ten us dollar yeah it was that cheap because i am in a, in my local salon i really did, i haven't yet had those high standards <laughs> of going into expensive saloons and all of that okay i haven't yet reached there so i just touch where my i just stretch up to where my my hand can touch yeah so my hand could touch there and it was really worth it the hair really came out exactly the way i wanted 
and uh, I told them still to blow dry my hair which was kind of a wrong idea because at the end of the day they had to put in some water for my hair to still go back because I really thought that when they blow dry it it is going to become a little bit longer okay no it wasn't really that right <laughs> idea but of course because I had insisted the lady was like it's okay let's blow dry and see how it come out but she had already told me that this hair needs to be done when it is wet yep if you're going to a saloon any other day somebody else who is really listening to me right now if you're going to the saloon and you want to do the same hair that i also did for myself all you have to do is they do not have to blow dry your hair because still at the end of the day they will still have to put in water for me i had said that because i really thought that if they blow dry my hair um it is going to get longer <laughs> no it wasn't a good idea yeah because at the end of the day still if they hadn't yet uh, if they had not blow dried it uh they were there was no need of putting water in the hair but they finished to blow dry that means they blow dry all the the water that was in the hair and still when they were plating they had to put water which kind of confusion is that yeah i did <laughs> okay they were still telling me but i was insisting and i was like nah i want it to get longer i want my hair to be long blah 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 blah, blah. they were like it's okay let's do it and yeah it wasn't a good idea so i ended up uh, okay it it came out nice uh of which the way it was supposed to but uh they had to first put in water for it to come out the way i wanted it to come out of which way because i insisted so that means it was a, a wrong idea so if you're going to the salon next time and you want to make the hair that is also kind of mine uh, they don't need to put water. You always have to do it when it is wet. The lady was really understanding and lovely, so she did not uh, pull strings with me. <laughs> but trust me, I was on a wrong position. But yay. Good enough. I really loved the, the, the outcome, and the outcome was super nice. Mm -hmm. And that's what matters the most. Yay. <laughs> yeah my local my local look ah uh, yeah this is what i have now this is how i look for my hair to be blow dried 
and doing my shakala and my hair getting better and get plated i saw um a cutex guy and then i felt like yeah why not having my nails done because really trust me they were also so bad <laughs> they were really so bad so i um i had to do my 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 nails too as they are plating my hair also the lady was really so happy and she was really not disturbing and she wasn't really complaining i love the fact that she was okay with my camera yeah so even the chutex guy he was also so good and so nice he just did his job at a cheaper price <laughs> ask me how much <laughs> four thousand yes four thousand ugandan shillings yes i did my my nails at uh, four thousand ugandan shillings the, the 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 guy i think he's a hawker do i have to say i think no the guy is a hawker he does uh, nails while walking around you just call him on the roadside and be like okay i want to do my nails come and do them for me and those ones they always do it at a cheaper price more than these ones that are doing it from the saloon like the saloon itself when they that is their location so because this one is just a hawker he keeps on running around walking around looking for the people to 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 eh? looking for the people to paint their nails to make their nails or to get their nails done yeah so i called him and he was like it's okay i was really so surprised with the price because i really also didn't know that it was that cheap but yay it was and i really loved the outcome whereby up to now uh on, on a daily basis i think i took his number i'm also going to be uh doing that from him because um the the nails are really long lasting even i saw some friends that he did their hair with their their nails with so even also for them their nails were also good and long lasting so yeah it was with, worth giving it a try and yay i really looked so good and i'm so happy about that yep and as i was um i was getting my nails done here was the nice lady getting done with my hair too yeah getting the nails done getting the hair done at the same time it was less work you see exactly what i told you she has to first put in some little water yes that is the water and now yeah she's putting the water again and yet <laughs> i had finished bro drying it you see i it's more like i just disturbed them but yeah what to do i just didn't know what exactly to to do this was my first experience yet i really loved the hair because for them they're experienced they told me what to do but i was like nah i wasn't really uh, uh i wasn't really understanding what they were telling me so i ended up messing up yep <laughs> i ended up messing up things but well it's okay he uh the the they were getting the hair done but uh time i think we were time was running against us so she had to call in her co-worker to assist us and get the hair done because the hair was that simple yeah and uh i think she felt like she was spending longer time on the hair so she had to call her friend to come and assist us to get the hair done and yeah she came in gave in a hand and yeah within like a little while the hair really got done and i really loved the outcome trust me
done, I'm done, I'm done with my hair guys. And now what I am going to be doing is that um, I'm going to have some little something to buy for my kids before I go to see them. But I don't know what I'm going to be buying for them. Maybe one street snack like that. Oh God, the copyright is going to come for me. So guys, I'm looking for something to buy for my kids. But I'm not seeing any. I think I'm going to buy... I don't know. Let me look for maize. Yeah, I have seen... I have seen a lady that is roasting some maize, but well, I have not really liked it. So I am going to look for another person that is selling corn or maize or whatever it is being called. And another thing, the reason as why I have not bought it, it is because uh, she is standing near where there is music. That means that I will be having copyright in my music and I want to keep talking to you guys so I have ended up not buying that yeah I don't like the music it would be coming in as a copyright thing how do I look by the way hmm? how do I look my hair is looking good I have done this kind of hair because I am always putting on oh another music is here Oh guys, I have just caught those ones on camera. So I am just continuing with my vlog. I'm looking for a street yeah, it is here. I'm going to have something to eat, and that is corn. Hello, madam. How are you? How much is corn? One thousand. Is this one hot? It's not hot. No, this one is not hot. Tayocha. Well, I don't know. It's 700. So I'm going to be taking this one. And. Uh, what is it? This one is 500. I take this one. Yeah, put for me this one. Mm. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to be taking this my baby and this
So guys, this is the balance they have given me. Apparently, I am going back home. I am done with the plating my hair. So guys, see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.